breaking news 77 years after the end of World War II and it looks like we're now just moments away from what will likely be the beginning of World War III. After many weeks of speculation as to what Russia's plans might be in order to justify an invasion of Ukraine, as we speak, President Vladimir Putin is addressing the Russian people to reveal what those plans are. Located on the Russian border in eastern Ukraine, you have what is known as the Donbass region that is under the control of Russian-backed separatists broken up into two groups, the Donetsk region and the Lugansk region. With the presence of Ukrainian troops in the Donbass region, it sets the stage perfectly for Putin's plan to invade into Ukrainian territory by making them not Ukrainian territory. And how's Putin gonna do that? By recognizing these two regions as independent republics, which is exactly what Putin just announced to Russia and the whole world that he's doing. Why? So they can ask for Russia's help in fighting the Ukrainian troops in the Donbass region. And now that Putin has accommodated President Xi of China in waiting until after the Olympics were over, what better time to do it than on the eight year anniversary of the last president of Ukraine being ousted. Yeah, February 22nd, 2014. And tonight at 2.22 a.m. local time in Ukraine, it'll be 2.22.22 at 2.22 a.m., which would be at 7.22 Eastern time, but I'm just saying. And as satellite images come in showing the Russian troops moving into combat position along the Ukrainian border, and after French President Emmanuel Macron's failed attempt yesterday to schedule a summit, between President Biden and President Putin, it appears that diplomacy is now off the table and a Russian invasion could happen any moment now. With nearly 200,000 Russian troops surrounding Ukraine by land and sea, they really don't stand a chance. And it's likely that a cyber attack will begin things by shutting down the infrastructure and communications within Ukraine as they invade Kiev to topple the government and the fighting to continue in the Donbass region. And with the Olympic torch put out and the Winter Olympics in Beijing behind us, is this the time now for China to finally invade Taiwan? So what does this all mean about the end times? Well, as I've said many times, Bible prophecy is always centered around Israel. And things are heating up right now in Syria between Israel and Iran, as well as Russia. But that coalition will also include Turkey and will likely kick things off with the destruction of Damascus as prophesied by Isaiah. And I'll be providing more updates, so make sure you hit the follow button.